Hi, kindergarten friends. I am doing a reading lesson. Um, we're gonna do phonics today. And when I say phonics, it means the letter sound. So I introduced the letter P yesterday and we did some phonics. And then today I've got the cards here. And we did do this, we're doing this on Zoom today, okay? So um, you're gonna practice on Zoom and watch the lesson and then you'll be ready for the pages that I'm gonna assign. Okay, all right, so let me take a look. What I did is I set up, here's the capital P and the lowercase p. I asked you guys today, do they look alike? And most of you said, yeah, well, sort of, right? They kind of look the same. You start both of them with a straight line and then we have a curved line. But if you look, the capital P comes out straight before it curves around and the lowercase p just curves around right away. So this is more of a circle and this is more of a, I call it like a horseshoe, okay? P is for pumpkin, P is for peewee penguin, and peewee penguin, you put your arms down at your sides like this, and you can waddle back and forth, and the sound is pa, pa, pa. You have to put your lips together and blow the air out, pa, pa. You can feel it on your hand when you say peewee penguin pumpkin, okay? Now I have a whole bunch more cards. If we were in the classroom, I would call kids up and they would come and put the cards up here. The first one is pig, okay? And this is not a pink pig. He's kind of a, I would say that's almost a tan and brown pig. When you see the word, I've got to put these over here. When you see the word, I love this word because it's only three letters, so it's super easy to sound out. P says p, p. I says eh, eh, and G says g. Now I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna put this up there, but I'm gonna show you something. I have showed a few of you. When you're trying to sound out a word like that, especially if it's three letters, you can put the first sound you hear up on top, okay, on top of your arm because it's the first letter, it's the top of your arm, right? The vowel, the middle sound, you're gonna put on your elbow because your elbow is the middle of your arm. So we go p, and then here we put our e, and then right on your wrist, since that's the bottom of your arm, you're gonna make the g, g, g. So watch, p, e, g. Now, when you go back to your shoulder, now you're gonna pull the sounds together. You're gonna to blend the sounds. So we go, p, e, g, p, e, g, pig. And I'm not sure why, but it really does help the kids blend the sounds together. Some kids get it automatically, and other kids go, p, ig, and then they go, yip, or they go ip, or ig, or they just don't get all three. So pig, okay? That's just a little trick, and I'm sure I'm gonna mention that many, many more times. Okay, here's the second one. Isn't that cute? Look at that cute little penguin. Here he is. Okay, I'm gonna put the penguin up here. I didn't really show you the word, did I? Penguin, penguin. Okay, I'll make a little pyramid. What's that? pot that's a big pot that would be a great pot to make a pot of soup a pot of chili pasta mmm I love this word it's only three letters so we can sound it out p -a -t. so you can go make do this p -a -t. but then put it here p -a -t. and then it's easier to sound out p -a -t. pot you pull the sounds together that's called blending and we're gonna be doing a lot of that. Ooh, what's that one? Yummy, yummy pizza, and what's on top? Pepperoni, I hear lots of peas and pepperoni. Pepperoni, p -p pizza, pizza. Here is a plate, plate, here's the word. p o eight with a silent E, plate. A yellow plate. Puppet! I have so many puppets in the classroom. I keep bringing them home, but just a few at a time because I can't bring everything home. Puppet. This is how you spell it. P -a -p -p -et. Puppet. Last week I brought home, I had Clifford Puppet and we had the Turtle Puppet. And now this week I brought home my little worm in the Apple Puppet. Okay. Oh, something we use every single day. P -p Pencil. P Pencil, pencil, I'll put that here. Ah, remember the story about the little worm looking for a home? First thing he tried was a pear, pear, okay? And it was round, 
sort of, not really round, not like an apple. It didn't have any windows, didn't have any doors, but it did not have a star inside. And it was red, right? Here is a pan. We already had pot. This is more like a frying pan where you would cook your eggs in the morning. And I love the word because we can sound it out. We've got a puff, we've got a ah, and we've got a n. Let's put the sounds on our R. P an. Now let's blend them together. P an. Pan. I'll show you again. Pan. And the last one is parrot. Isn't that cute? Okay, a parrot is a bird. You can teach the bird to talk and teach it to say hello, hello, or Polly wants a cracker. <laughs> okay, I'll put that here. Wow, that was a lot of words, a lot of P words. Let's just go over them real quick, okay? We've got pig, penguin, pot, pizza, plate, puppet, pencil, pear, put up here, pan, and parrot. Okay, all of those words that we said, p -p -p, have the P sound. I'm gonna step over here to my desk and Hey, we're doing our fourth letter, boys and girls. Remember the first letter? We're gonna have to stop and review pretty quick so you don't forget the ones we learned. The very first letter we did was M, and then we did S, and then we did T, and now we're working on P. So I went ahead and pulled both of the phonics pages. Okay, I skipped the sight word page. We'll do that tomorrow. But I pulled the phonics pages, which is the little book that we're gonna make, and then this one, okay? So again, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. I was gonna have it pre-made, but I always kinda of wanna go over the directions because I see people cutting these pages apart and you don't need to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I figure if I show you uh, for a few more times then pretty soon I can just say do the page because you'll know how to do it exactly, all right? I'm gonna cut this out. I'm, I am gonna snip off, you know what? I'm gonna use the big scissors. You guys have little scissors, but I, it's just easier. I'll be able to do it better and faster. I'm gonna cut that little piece off because we don't need it. I might even trim this up a little bit because it came out of the book a little jagged. Okay, now, now, parents, please, you do not have to cut these pages apart. It, this, this is a fun little book. You don't even need any staples. Just cut it and uh, cut it, the edges off, okay? Fold it like this in half first, and then fold it in half the other way. And it's a little book. Now, I think sometimes you guys take them up, you know, you unfold it to take and give me the picture. But well, the reason I can tell if you're not doing it right is because then the words are upside down. Okay, they're not, that it's supposed to be the picture with the word underneath. So if you're just doing it like this, like a page, okay, then you've got the word underneath and the word on top. It doesn't matter that much, but it is supposed to be a little book. And then you can throw it in with all your other books in your book box, okay? All right, let me cut these apart real quick and let's go ahead and go over them. I'm trying to speed this up a little bit because I can tell I'm going long. A candle, does candle start with a P? No, k -k -k -k. <coughs> The second one is a goat. Goat, what do you hear? G -g -g. I'm not gonna put that in my book, am I? Ooh, a pizza. Yes, pepperoni pizza. And then I see a pillow, p -p pillow. Sometimes they have the same pictures as they do in other lessons, don't they? Oh, uh, that's a parrot, okay? It's a bird, but don't call it a bird because it's a special kind, a kind that you can teach how to talk, right? P -p parrot, this is a book, okay? Does that start with a P? Listen to it, b -b 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 bear. That starts with a B. If it started with a P, it would be a pook. And I, can, I don't think you can read a book, right? Okay, book. How about p -p pencil? Yes, thumbs up. And how about pan? Okay, so you guys, I'm sure that's easy for you. Let's go ahead. I did not X them out today, but you can do that if you want. Whatever is easier for you guys. I'm gonna throw my scraps over here. I'm gonna keep my parrot. When I snip these off, see if I can turn this over here so you can see, see me cutting, okay? So I'm gonna, there, I'm keeping the parrot. I'm putting the book with my scraps. I'm keeping the pencil. I'm keeping the pan. I'm keeping the pillow and the pizza, but I'm gonna throw away the goat and the candle. So those are all my scraps. I'll just get rid of those so I don't get mixed up. Now if you can see, there's actually five pictures and there's only four pages. So you can decide which ones you wanna use and which ones you don't. Um, ooh, I'm gonna put my favorite on the front. What do you think my favorite is? <laughs> pizza, mmm, pepperoni. 
actually, if I was gonna pick my own pizza, I like Canadian bacon and pineapple and olives and mushrooms and mm, yummy, yummy. Okay, pizza. Now I open up my little book. Let's put the pencil in here. A pencil here. I'm gonna choose the pan because it's such an easy word to write. And that way kids can get some extra writing practice. And then on the last one, should I do the parrot or the pillow? Ah, uh, let's do the parrot. You do not have to do the same order as I'm doing. You don't have to do the same ones as I'm doing. So this is just a scrap, I'll throw those away. All right, now you have two choices. Um, if your child is still struggling struggling a little bit with the writing, um, we have not done the handwriting page yet. We're doing that tomorrow, but I, ha I am practicing with them on Zoom. So we're practicing the peas on Zoom. Um, so everybody will have a chance to make peas. And then there, it's, I went back and forth. Should I do the handwriting first? Well, the second page of the handwriting is, you know, writing those words. So I thought, no, it's better to do this. Okay, so I'm gonna trace the big P and the little P. Okay, now you can either put a big P and a little P on every page, just like you did on the front. Big P, little P, big P, little P. Okay, and if your child's really having a hard time with handwriting, uh, parents, you can highlight it and they can trace it, okay? But if your child, because we have some kids who, you know, and I, I don't mean to always say the TK kids, but the TK kids are advanced. They had a whole year of pre-kindergarten. They went through all the letters already. They've already made all the letters, so they're pretty, pretty good. Um, but there's other kids too. They're not the only ones. So, and you guys know your own child. So if they're really good at writing, they know how to write most of their letters, give them a challenge. So instead of writing P here, we're gonna write pan. And let, we're not gonna start it with a capital. We're gonna start with lowercase. So I'm gonna do a little P. And this is a great one. You can say, let your child try to do it all by themselves. P -p ah, 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 alley, alligator. N Nigel, night owl. See, they can spell that all by themselves. P-A-N is pan. Okay, for pencil, they might need a little bit of help. And I do want them spelled correctly. We're not doing invented spelling in this. We, we're gonna be doing it next week when we do our writing sample. But for now, I want, I want these correctly because they're putting it in their book box and they're gonna be looking at it. So you don't want them to look the wrong way. You want them to see it the correct way when it's a book. If it's just for fun, invented spelling is great. Okay, P N S. I hear an S, but it's a C. I L pencil and then on the last one I can write parrot okay that's if you have parents to help you at home and they are going to help you spell them or big brother and sister that's great and if not just write the letter Eric because we do have another page tomorrow where they get to write the whole word this is kind of extra credit okay all right and you don't have to take a picture of every single page just take a picture maybe if you open it up and take a picture of that then i get to see two pages but please don't send me four different pages i don't need to see that whole thing okay and then we're going to go ahead and do this one and i'm going to go really 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 fast okay all right the first picture is a pen now you know what i know they're showing you just lowercase but i told you last week i want you to do both okay so we're going to put a big p in front of that little p Big P and then trace the little P. Okay, how about cat? No, nope, I'm gonna X it out. All right, I see a pan again. Big P first and then little P. So even though we haven't done the handwriting page, we have practices. Now I see a pair, capital P and lowercase p. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this to save time and then I'll hold it up. Peas, peas, that grow in a pod. Now I see a sun. We did S a few weeks ago, so we know that sun doesn't start with a P. Now I see a fire or logs. I'm gonna X that out. P -p pillow. We've already had that one. P. And then there's a pot. Okay, so big P, little P, and then we're done. And if you want to color them, you can. You don't have to. That's optional. But um, I've got my P's underneath everything that starts with P. And don't forget, I want you to put a big P and a little P. When we write these words, most of the time they will start with a lowercase, but sometimes they do start with capital if it's in the title or something. So we want them to know how to make both P's, capital and lowercase. Okay, that's it, bye-bye.